What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you a different video. Now, I've had a fair few requests of people requesting to see what tactics, what in-game settings I use in FIFA 17, so I thought I'd bring you a video on just that. So, this will be very similar to the squad that I show you for my week 3 on Foot Champions. The video will be out whenever reward packs are out, probably 2am GMT time on the Thursday. But anyhow, yeah, it's slightly different because uh, I have won the daily tournament with this team. I'll show you that in a sec, but uh, that's not the main point for this video. But obviously it's the one where you need 6 players from one club, so I've got 6 Manchester United players in there. So, anyhow, with the settings. Now, the first thing, which is very, very important, and... Uh, I uh, shout out to one of my followers on Twitter, I think it's Mo, uh, he told me about this and um, yeah honestly if you're watching this video cheers mate because it's really helped me. But anyway, he's uh, this, it defaults at 65, this pressure thing and um, what that tends to do is drag your defenders out of position so sometimes when you get annoyed because there's a defender that you're not controlling that is going after your attacker it's usually because this pressure automatically sets itself at 50 uh, sorry at 65 like if I reset there literally it goes straight to 65 so what you want to do is push that down to 50 and that makes a lot of difference if I can actually get it back there we go so uh, that's literally the only change I do I keep everything the same um, but yeah that that was the literal one thing that I change about that now in terms of player rules um, not player rules for crying out loud player instructions now what I have uh, in this team this is for a 4 2 3 one I'll go through a couple of other formations but this is one of my favorite formations on FIFA and uh, I'll tell you why in a bit so the full backs I literally have them stay back while attacking you can see here uh, on the attacking runs stay back while attacking both of them so that gives me a bit more of a solid base because a lot of the time when I didn't have this the full backs would be dragged out of position so when I was on a counter there was literally my two defenders and then you know one well aimed through ball it's gone so uh, yeah I prefer them to stay back then with Pogba here I've got him to get forward and uh, I'll tell you a bit more about that well it depends it depends on the player you've got Pogba he's quite an attacking player and uh, he works in the CDM role because he's strong he's a physical presence so you don't necessarily have to have an attacking player there you just need someone strong with maybe a little bit of pace like uh, I think Pogba 77 pace that's quite a lot for a midfielder so uh, yeah I've got him to stay back while attacking uh, we'll go back on player instructions uh, sorry to go forward while attacking whereas Kante who's a lot more defensive I've got him to stay back while attacking so basically when I go forward I'll have five defenders all staying back and uh, Pogba will drift forward so that'll give me another out uh, like another attacking option so you'll have lines and you'll see this you'll have like a lot of players that are elsewhere as well like, I'll go through some of the other ones Zlatan Ibrahimovic I literally keep him the same like um in this formation I much prefer Ibrahimovic as a calm overall like I've, I've tried him as a calm as a striker he, he's better when he's got runners to run ahead of him and uh, that's why he's perfect in the middle of this uh, formation. But literally, I don't have any instructions set for him. The two cams in this uh, case is Mata and De Bruyne. I literally have them to free roam. So you can see here on the positioning freedom, have them free roam instead of stick to position. So that means they drift around a lot. Uh, you'll see here De Bruyne has the exact same. Literally, I don't change much because a lot of it, like if you overcomplicate it, sometimes you, you find that your players aren't doing what you want because you've set them to do three, four things. So I just don't see the point in that. You just have to make subtle tweets, tweaks. Of course, you don't have to follow it like I do. This is how I play. This is how it improves me as a FIFA player. But anyway, uh, we've got Aguero up front and literally I have him set to get in behind because um, he's the only one with a lot of pace in this team. He, like, he's the only one with over 80 pace. But uh, it, it works. Literally, I hold up the ball with Ibrahimovic. I, I sometimes play it out wide to Mata, De Bruyne, let Pogba get involved with the attacks. Sometimes cross it in. Sometimes Aguero makes runs. And yeah, that's just the tactics I have set for this specific formation. Now, I haven't really tried it with too many other formations. But uh, I'll, I'll see if I can show you another one. What's this? Uh, great. Um, I'll, I'll just add a couple of players in here so I can you know show you a demo with this one I suppose it would be fairly similar I would imagine uh, really no I think I heard yeah we're small oh yeah small ones are non Ugh. oh I wish the uh, untradeable players would appear like alongside your other players because 
yeah, they, oh, you know what I mean. Anyway, um, and I think this one again is an untradeable player who I had in this team. Uh, it's Toure, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Right, anyway. So, we'll go back to player instructions. The custom tactics, by the way, will stay the same. Oh, no, they don't. Okay, so you have to... <laughs> I was going to say they stay the same for every single formation, but they don't. So, literally, every single squad builder that you do, you're going to have to set that to 50. I really do think that makes a huge, huge difference in-game. Um, play instructions. So, for this formation, I would do exactly the same with these. Stay back while attacking for Kyle Walker as well as Moreno. And then for the midfielders now... A lot of these are quite defensive, so the one that I'd have is probably the one in the middle, uh, which in this case is Fellaini. So I would have him to get forward, and then maybe Dembele balanced attack and Toure to stay back. Yeah, I, I would probably have that, and uh, yeah, that that should. I mean, in a three-man midfield, it, it's not too imperative to have one that's set to stay back and go forward because you've got three and especially when you've got strong midfielders like this but that is how i would do i have dembele literally just in the middle fellaini going forward and toure sitting back a little bit more then with the wingers i would literally set these to free room if you can um is there a way to do that i don't think there is but, uh, uh no no all right so because it's a bit of a different thing what i would have is a son because he's a very very you know pacey player and uh i think he's got five star weak foot actually so i would want him to kind of stay central and uh kind of get in behind yeah definitely and then william i'd want him to drift wide because he's very good at crossing uh have balanced attack i would imagine yeah definitely balanced attack and then with lukaku um well put him as a target man like because you know that's what Lukaku's playstyle is so that's probably what I would do I would leave everything else as I say it, it you don't want to overdo it with these instructions like you need to find one that will suit yourself I mean they are fairly obvious but I know a lot of people did ask me what I've got I'm not the greatest FIFA player my record it's pretty average to be fair so yeah I'm not necessarily the greatest person to um to be telling you what to do but i know another like a lot of other people have uh have these kind of instructions then they do well for them but anyway as you can see i've qualified for the weekend league i've kind of gave a spoiler to where i finished uh this this week but it doesn't really matter anyway uh yeah literally it did take me my fourth attempt um the other three i think for two of them i didn't have these instructions one of them i did but it disconnected in the first round when i was winning and then yeah literally i've won so i've qualified for my fourth weekend league in a row um let me know if there's any other sort of informational videos that you want me to bring you because they are very easy and i know i do get a lot of requests i might be relatively small youtuber but i do read every single message and i try and make the videos that you guys want to see so uh, if there's anything else like this, let me know if I can do it in the comment section. But hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.